वेलकम बैक गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेकी अमृत सो वी आर बैक अगेन विद न्यू टॉपिक इन अवर एज्योर क्लाउड सीरीज दैट इज सास टोकन एंड शेयर्ड एक्सेस सिग्नेचर सो वी डीप डाइव इनटू हाउ वी गिव अ पार्शियल एक्सेस और द शेयर्ड एक्सेस टू अवर कंटेनर और द ब्लॉब that we have created so before i proceed if you are new to my channel please subscribe click on the subscribe button on the video and uh, you will get the latest notification whenever i create a new videos so let's start okay so what is shared access signature so i will use a term sas uh, instead of shared access signature so in sas uh, Uh, SAS is a URI that allows you to specify the time span and the permissions allowed for access to a storage resource such as a blob or a container. So, guys, whenever you define a sh uh, shared access signature, uh, you have an option to like from what time to what time span, like the start time and the end time. Uh, you uh, uh, you give a permission for that particular resource of a storage account that user can able to access or user. or whatever the access rights you have permission like read write modify whatever the permissions you have given so that so that they are able to use that so uh, it is very important to uh, keep the the time span in my mind uh, in your mind because the, there is a time difference maybe your time um, uh, uh, the, uh, your time difference varies from with the another region time resource so uh, keep that thing in uh, my mind and always use https option so that uh, the it should be uh, the the shared access signature should run on a on a like uh, on, a, on a on a secure server right so the, the default permission whenever you create any blob so there are three types of permissions you have um, uh, for each container in blob storage uh, one is a private another is a blob another is at the container level so when you set private you are able to see your own container and blobs only and uh, when you on a blobs when you set the public read access for the blobs so it will be <coughs> read it everyone and the, on if you set on the container like public read access for the blob container and blobs so so these are the three options that you can choose depending upon your requirement right so these are the default permissions that are available so what if you need to create your custom i will show you further so guys the url you can uh, th that you can see on my screen is a combination of uh, uh, you can say the base uri and the sas token so the the yellow portion that i have hi i have highlighted the svst srsp these are the the permissions that we are going to give to the um, while creating the sas token or you can say the as a shared access signature so my account is the is the name of the storage account so it has some um, Uh, sub uh, followed naming convention it should be on a lower case you cannot use uh, like simultaneously two hyphens or uh, special characters so sv defines the storage version st defines the you get the start time sr is the uh, you would say uh, the storage resource we are using the blob here that's why we there is a b here and sp is the permission you what permission you are giving in the read only permission write only so depending upon so in this whenever you create a shared access signature this url will be shared to uh, to the to the concerned person to whom you are just sharing the partial access of your storage account guys always be careful Uh, uh while selecting the time and the permissions because this url may be accessed by the person those who uh, with whom you don't want to share the access so it is good to uh to uh, to check to validate the user credentials if you have given any right permission so that uh it mm, it should not able to do any uh, uh, like uh, malware activity on your on your on your storage account right so there is an option that is a sas that is shared access uh, access signature versus shared access policies guys there is a option that uh Uh, you may come across that either to create a uh, SAS or a shared access policy. The major difference is lies in the in the revoke uh, uh, while revoking the permission. As I have already explained you that in SAS here, you are creating uh, you are giving a ad hoc URI. Uh, why why I am using the ad hoc because this is temporary something that you are giving for 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 certain amount of time. But if if we talk about in the time uh, about the time, then uh, once you have mentioned given the URL, the only way to revoke is just to change the uh, is to change the either to change the storage account key or uh, because uh, in SAS to revoke it's 
its access you have to wait for either the expiry time to occur or change the shared storage ac uh, storage account key that that was used to create the shared access signature but in SAS you have a you have an option that in sorry in storage access policy that it can be revoked by changing the expiry time on the policy to sometime uh, in the past or simply deleting this the policy so storage access policy stored access policy is much more secure <coughs> in terms of when we are sharing the uh, our, uh, partial access of storage account like blobs or containers so what are the good practices while we are like, creating uh, creating any partial access for uh, for our any storage or the blob account always use HTTPS while when creating a distributing on as SaaS if you pass the SaaS over HTTP it can be read and used by someone performing a man in the middle attack right so store a stored access policies where possible because they allow to revoke permissions without having a regenerate the storage account key as I already explained you there is no need of storage stored account key visible to the user so uh, they are more secure in SaaS use a date range as possible as possible to limit your exposure in the previous slide I've explained you that always use a limited time period uh, while defining the shared access signature I will give a small small example if you want all the blobs in a container to be readable to the public make the container public rather than to create SAS shared access signature policy for each and every client right so I will show you demo how what steps that need to be followed while creating this so once uh, I have uh, created a previous version how to create a proper blob uh, please click on the uh, on the I button you will get the full video there go through the full video you will see uh, the, the blob that you have created so after clicking the blob you will see there is option that is called a shared access signature when you click it you have two option one is the signing key then you have permissions when you click on the permissions you will see the f the options like here read add create write lately so these are different permissions you can set now you have the start time expiry time and the IP address as I explained you that always use HTTPS that would be more secure and always use the UTC time so that uh, and always use short time guys you have as on the signing method you are on the top of it you see there is account key and user delegation key they are something different in account key use using the storage account key right in user delegation key uh, you are not using the storage account key apart from that you will just register the application and uh, you create a separate account in which you have provided a client key and a tenant ID that would be used by the uh, by the user who those who going to use the shared access signature so I'm not going to deep dive into it so I'm just giving you overview that what is user delegation key right so in access policy access policy when you click uh, here in the access policy here there is a button called add policy when you click on it you have an option like w the identifier would be the any identifier with name or container or the blob and the permissions and start and expiry time when you click ok so this these permissions would be uh, uh, added to the to that particular container or the blob and they are easy to uh, uh, to revoke whenever you you want that okay I, I just want to revoke my permissions so guys I would always prefer to use uh, uh, to do SAS policies shared access uh, policy so that uh, they are they are more secure more reliable and easy to revoke so uh, so guys this is the way that we give you you are able to give the shared access signature or the shared access of your storage account to whom you don't rely that we don't want to give a like a full access of your storage or a blob or a container account right so this is it guys thank you keep watching my videos thank you bye